Hey guys, John Hammond here, looking at Bandit level 31 from Over the Wire, some of the new levels I just released. So I have already uh, Git cloned the repository, noted in the uh, online page here, got it in a temporary directory that we're working out of. So let's check out the repository, see what they have here. We have this readme file, which we can see, and it says this time your task is to push a file to the remote repository with key.txt as a file name, the contents may I come in on the branch master, so the current branch that we are on. As we can see, yeah. Okay, cool. So let's create a file. Let's call this uh, key.txt with that contents. Um, it's fine. It doesn't need a backup file. So we can save that, create it. Cool, it exists. So now I just would just normally git add the directory. I would git commit, um, except it tells me on branch master, we're up to date. Nothing to commit working directories clean. And so I thought that was weird. Um, so what I did was I tried to git add key.txt, like that file explicitly. And then I said, oh, the following paths are ignored by one of your dot git ignore files, key.txt. So that kind of tripped me up for a second. But that is just a point here for your learning. There is such thing as a git ignore file, and those files will not be noted in any commits or pushes that you try to make to your repository. Looks like they're trying to ignore anything that's a .txt file. So the note is you can use tash, uh, I'm sorry, I was going to say tack and dash at the same time. <laughs> in, in fact, I did, I said tash. So you can git add key.txt tack f to force it, and then it does it just fine. So now we can git commit, uh, ignore that warning error, and we can just say uh, added the file or whatever message that we want here. So now we can git push, bring it to the repository, say yes, it will need the password, so we can go ahead and supply that. We've got it saved, throw it in our clipboard, paste it in, and you can see here, it gives back some interesting notes. Well done, here's the password for the next level. And this guy will get us to bandit 30. So let's keep track of that, bandit 32. Again, I've got this saved because I've been doing it earlier, but that's it. That was the solution that we all really needed for this level, Bandit 31. Not crazy hard, right? But just to teach you and show you how to go ahead and upload files to the Git repository. Add the files, commit them, and push. But without noticing that Git ignore file, nothing particularly happened. So maybe if you just didn't realize it, that may trip you up. So cool things. Hey, if you didn't uh, see it before, I have set up a Discord server, and that community has been really, really awesome to talk some more about some of these challenges, uh, play them live with other people for the first time we're going through them. Same thing for any captured flag game that may be on weekend, and just collaborate, talk, uh, and be in that community of programmers, CTF hackers, and just really cool people. Uh, so please, link in the description, come hang out and jam with us. Another note I want to include is a shout out to my supporters on Patreon. You guys are phenomenal. And uh, thank you so much. Everything that you do, $1 a month on Patreon will give you a shout out just like this at the end of every video. Um, $5 a month on Patreon will give you early access to all my videos on YouTube before I release them. Uh, normally I record videos in bulk and then YouTube will gradually release them one by one. So if you want the content right away, just $5 a month and that's the easy way to get it. I'll hope to bring out more incentives as we move along. I think the Discord server is, is awesome now because I've got some real community like always engaging instant message conversation as to what people want to see and, and what we can bring to the table. So that, that's really cool. Hey, if you did like this video, please do press that like button. Maybe leave me a comment if you're willing to subscribe and check me out on Discord, Patreon, and my website, www.johnhammond.org. See you soon.